<laughs> How you doing? Anthony Ferraro here with Create Sci-Fi. This week I want to talk to you about a costume design element, um, something that I call the sci-fi kilt. Now this for me fulfills probably my main DIY filmmaking credo, which is low cost, high impact. Now with sci-fi, you always want your characters uh, to look like they're from the future or a past future. So the thing with that is it becomes expensive because you either have to pay to have those costumes built, you have to spend the time to build them yourself, or you have to rent them, and that costs a lot of money. So in my search um, for inexpensive options, I came across um, the kilt. As a, as a great sort of solution to that. And, you know, I wanna talk about it a bit uh, historically. Historically in film, you know, we have touchstones for that. Probably most famous in current memory is Mel Gibson's Braveheart. So we have that somewhere in our brains that there are these male warriors running around in skirts and kilts. And so subconsciously that helps us to sell this idea of this male warrior in a kilt, in a skirt. The idea subconsciously is out there in the world. Also, there's Roman warriors, right? So we have uh, the film Gladiator. We have these Roman images. We all have seen Spartan warriors and Romans, and we, we know in our mind that that's a warrior, that's a macho male. That is something that we do associate with a male. And even more recently, we have these images of Kanye West rocking a leather skirt during his concerts. So it will work. And it's one of these things where my uh, coming to the kilt was purely uh, budgetary. I didn't have the money. And it's one of those beautiful things where the result, I just like this look and it's probably better than if I had the budget to imagine anything. This. I think now I'm I'm a big fan of it and it works well for my aesthetic. So now let's take a look at some practical examples from my, my work on my soon to be released web series, Galactic Galaxy. So here's my space cop and I doubled this one costume probably three or four times in some scenes because I can only afford to make the one costume. But you can see clearly here like the clunky bits in the groin and this is all held together with elastic and Velcro and even on the day some gaff tape. So it looks cool, but on my limited budget, this was actually very difficult to manage. I'm happy with it, but it took some doing. So here I have my clone character. So the armor, the upper body armor is made out of EVA foam and the gauntlets are made out of EVA foam. So that's a very inexpensive process that just costs your time, but it's very effective and that looks cool. But to make this costume more affordable, I added the kilt. And in this case, this is just like a copper metallic kilt that I found at the thrift store. And I actually built the costume around that color. Now here I have my Skull General. Now this armor, again, is EVA foam. Now for him, I just went to the fabric store and bought a couple yards of this heavy textured uh, seat cushion material. And we just put a simple, simple pleat in that. And actually that's held on him with some safety pins. And just using that heavy textured fabric subconsciously adds a lot of value to that for, I think it probably cost me $12. And then for my hero character, he has this simple piece of silver fabric that's just sewn to the bottom of his motocross jacket. Now the one thing with these kilts I will say is you really wanna put the characters in a high boot. Um, that just helps to sell the whole macho look. In the case of the Skull General, that's a proper pair of leather boots. But with the clone character, you know, I was running out of money and that's just um, some spats. And I think they cost me like $10. And in the case of my hero character, he has these uh, silver spandex pants on. And for him, we put on shin guards. And those are just some basic motocross shin guards. Again, Amazon, probably 10 bucks. Just painted those silver, and that really sells the whole look. Now with the civilian high status character, I just found this jacket in a thrift store, and it was actually a bellhop jacket. And the times I've done this, I find it's more effective if the jacket has an interesting collar, but you can certainly use a regular blazer. And then this is just a skirt that I got from Amazon. And what's great is if you measure your uh, actor's waist, get a true measurement of their waist and not a pant size, just whatever it is in inches. And then when you go to Amazon, 
you know, you just click the size chart and you just match up the waist. I usually just search plus size. And this suited kilt look to me was a very cool and expensive look. Low cost, high impact. So there you have it. All my design ideas and practical experience with this sci-fi kilt. Now I hope this gave you some ideas of how you can do your project inexpensively. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I love the comments. And be sure to sign up for the email newsletter. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. <laughs> In a kilt. <laughs>